Good afternoon, uh, everybody, and welcome to the session of about 5G and smart cities. Today, I'm talking about the state of art understanding about the smart city services and data eco ecosystems development and in relation of, of 5G development. Uh, I want to actually to highlight uh, that, I mean, we need in, in everything that we do a little bit joy a little bit uh, uh, imagination and a little bit also that we need to go out of the box. And, and, and today we go out of the box and I will actually talk more about, uh, uh, about, the, about the cities, future of cities and different dimensions than technological dimensions. I'm talking about the business dimension, uh, legal dimension, uh, dimensions, social dimensions, and so forth, because those are as important as technological uh, dimensions in, in reality when we are then commercializing and, and, and scaling it up, the technologies. Uh, I want to highlight uh, that uh, today, 70% uh, of the Europeans live already in the cities and 56% and of the, percent of the uh, global people. That uh, now the estimations uh, by the uh, United Nations and OECD uh, uh, says that um, uh, 20 to 50, 70 percent of the uh, global population will live in the cities. So cities are the very important, uh, uh, important uh, now, but they are in, in even more important in the future, and also in the technological uh, developments. Uh, in addition, uh, the cities uh, are the main source for uh, 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 global emissions. And, and, and today, 76% of the global energy use and carbon emissions are done uh, by cities. And of course, uh, the key contributions are the buildings and transport. And of course, uh, the key issues uh, is today is the people, quality of life, climate, and connectivity. And in the connectivity related to these issues, we need more connectivity and capacity, and that will increase with the 5G and with the higher frequencies. And we need the denser networks as well uh, to, to face the, uh, the, the challenges that we are uh, facing today. And of course, if, if discussing smart cities uh, 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 the, in international benchmarking, uh, there is uh, smart cities all over the uh, world. A couple of examples, Toronto, where the Google has been actually, I mean, uh, very influential. Paris, Isile Mouliné has been the uh, smart city for a long time. Uh, we, we have uh, in, nearly in every city uh, smart city uh, developments. Um, a couple of mentioning Helsinki Espo here in Nordics, Brussels, uh, uh, and, 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 and Lyon, and so forth. So we can say that in every city we can find out the smart, ci smart city developments uh, uh, related to different uh, topics. So uh, uh, thinking about if going, uh, further to the future of the cities, what will be the most important thing uh, in, in, in the future? Of course, it is the issue that citizen engagement in all issues uh, should grow in upcoming years, because the citizens are the king in, king in the cities, and they need to be part of the uh, development. And, and, and thinking about that, uh, we need to take the responsibility uh, to about the societal change, innovative technologies can help on that. And therefore, the innovative technologies like a 5G are in the key role uh, in the future. Of course, environmental footprint, or shall we say it, a uh, 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 carbon uh, uh, footprint, or even carbon handprint. And what I'm meaning from the carbon handprint is that uh, if we are, carbon footprint is looking the back. Uh, what kind of uh, uh, carbon influence we have in history. But if we are looking for the future, so that what kind of uh, products and services and, and, and things are developed for the future, we are talking about carbon handprint. And this is the new uh, uh, 
uh, a new concept that we have launched that uh, here in Nordics uh, by the Climate Leadership Coalition, which, which is a coalition where the cities, industry, and, and, and other associations are related. So it is extremely important that we are, uh, if we are looking at the cities, the important are water, food, energy, uh, and, and because those create lots of pressures for the environment. And, and human population is another, the other fact that actually in the last couple of years it has increased heavily, and therefore the uh, planetary resources have been uh, 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 used up. So we, we actually, the cities, they need to work together to achieving the better lifestyles and, 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 and for the citizens and also, uh, also for the technological and city solutions uh, uh, to, 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 to be uh, facing these societal challenges like, I mean, uh, reducing waste, reducing number of uh, vehicles uh, and, 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 and also um, uh, having the sustainable public transportation systems. So the climate action is the issue where every city, regardless of its structure, regardless of the political uh, 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 representation, uh, needs to act. Uh, and in the last couple of years, cities have started contributing to climate change uh, uh, targets heavily. And, and especially in EU, uh, European cities have increased uh, increased uh, uh, the, the greenness uh, and, and spaces heavily uh, in last last years. And tech and the city are the issues that are actually it's required uh, today. The technologies can be used to improve the quality of life and, and structure and environment. And this is the case also in these communication technologies and 5G and should be so that the application are the issue that actually we, uh, we need to talk about it. And cities uh, are actually the, more like innovation hubs or should be the, like innovation hubs so that the role of the cities has totally changed uh, from a bureaucratic uh, role to the servant leadership role. And there the cities play an important role in innovation and, 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 and uh, identity and cultural heritage. And everybody we live in the cities and capital cities especially have a heavy influence. So the citizen city is the requirement today and uh, so that actually city is for the citizens. And there uh, as well uh, the innovation is an uh, important factor. New ideas and solutions are created by the citizens if there is a tools available. And of course, the resilience is an issue, uh, especially now in, in Corona time, health as well. So it is important that the cities are actually uh, uh, for the citizens. So uh, uh, then how can then this 5G and technological uh, uh, solutions help the citizens. Of course, there's a huge connectivity need. Connect we need the connectivity platforms, we need data platforms, and we need applications in the cities. And we, we need actually the similar kind of uh, uh, data platforms and similar kind of applications uh, gl globally so that we can co uh, connect as a citizens of certain city, also go to the other cities and, and have uh, all, the, all the data and connectivity available. We call it also the neutral host uh, uh, operators. Uh, and neutral host operators, we mean the local operators, local and global operators that actually deal with the connectivity and data. We need uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, industry uh, involvement. Uh, we, the power of the networks is, is, is important. Uh, industry will make the solutions. Uh, without industry solutions, we don't actually uh, get, um, um, achieve uh, the climate targets uh, or other ac actually uh, targets. It's extremely important to have the industry. I now talk a little bit more about uh, these targets. Uh, and, 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 and one of the uh, big instruments uh, in European cities is the Green Deal. And this European Commission came out uh, last year with this Green Deal concept, uh, which actually uh, was targeting 
the Europe to be the world uh, cl um, first climate neutral continent by 2050. So Europe wants to be the leader in the game. Of course, uh, the Green New Deal is uh, the concept that has been launched in America and now America as well has, uh, has uh, put the climate to the key priority in the uh, activities. And this contains, uh, uh, this Green Deal, um, uh, a range of key political um, uh, uh, areas. And five policy areas are clean energy, sustainable industry, building and renovation, sustainable mobi mobility, and biodiversity. Uh, these all five areas are require, requiring uh, digital uh, uh, solutions, connectivity, and data. So actually we are uh, in the main focus of, 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 of the content uh, today's uh, lecture. So, uh, last year, the uh, European Commission uh, plan to put these uh, five areas forward and, and there was also the legislative initiatives that are actually developed in this in this year. I will actually a little bit uh, discuss a couple of them. Uh, at first the climate neutral Europe by 20 to 50, uh, which actually where there is a goal to reach the net zero greenhouse, green gas, greenhouse gas emissions by 20 to 50. And this goal, goal is shaped by, uh, uh, shaped by uh, 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 by, by the ambition for 20 to 30 to cut the greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions uh, 50 to 55 percent. And this will mean uh, that we need to strengthen uh, the green uh, uh, seal diplomacy, also in international climate and biodiversity negotiation. Climate law is actually actually under talking, and also the European Climate Pact. Uh, uh, the new strategy on adaptation on climate change uh, has just actually uh, uh, the draft has just 20 to 21 came, uh, uh, came out from the European Commission and there is a huge focus of ambassadors uh, uh, and covenant of mayors uh, uh, dealing with the, these cities together to, uh, to uh, act uh, for, for the uh, uh, climate neutral uh, cities. Cities are the, the most uh, polluting uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, areas, uh, local areas, cities and regions, they are the most pollutions done. So therefore the act needs to be done in, in this local level. The, the Commission also aimed to renew every EU law and re re regulation and of course that's actually a part of the negotiations. So I mean everything comes uh, then uh, to to the uh, member of the state's discussions. Uh, there is a start to, uh, start to renewable energy directive and energy efficient directive as well. And these are important. There's lots of sectors in the smart energy sector to, to work together with the uh, 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 connectivity, uh, 5G and, and, and other industries as well. Uh, the, uh, there is a plan for the smart e sector integration, bringing together the electricity, gas and heating sectors closer together in the one system. Circular economy is one uh, of those uh, targets and, and, and the new circular economy action plan was, uh, was uh, launched last year. And there uh, it is as such that there's, I mean, carbon industry, uh, there's uh, hope and, 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 and promotion for carbon intensive industries like steel, cement and textiles that they will focus their attention to the new circular economy plan as well. Uh, so that there will be clean steel making, clean cement making, clean textiles uh, making and so forth. Building renovation is one of the big issues uh, and, and, and energy efficiency and this is the one target where there is lots of money uh, uh, dealt and uh, uh, this uh, renovation wave um, during the, this uh, program period until 20 to 20 to 27. Zero pollution uh, is the target uh, that we have a pollution free environment by 20 to 50. Uh, in, in Europe. And ecosystems and diversity uh, um, uh, are the, uh, are the uh, uh, 
uh, one area where there is uh, um, uh, strategic actions, action plans uh, in biodiversity, circular economy, zero pollution, and, and, and so forth are done. Other dimensions, um, if I uh, get it actually, uh, uh, the last part is the uh, farm to fork strategy and transport. And let's actually, uh, farm to fork is a, about the agriculture, green and healthy agriculture system. Uh, and, 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 and that's actually coming also from the uh, COP plans. Transport, uh, in transport sector, uh, of course, the transport is the I mean, key sector uh, where the pollutions are heavy. And there actually, it is uh, EU agreed that CO2 emission standards for cars needs to reduce. And the objective is to reach 95 uh, uh, grams CO2 per kilometer by this year. And, and the target is the zero by 20 to 30. And there's also the plan for the more electric cars so that everybody European can have the electric car so that uh, without having to worry about the next charging station or, or other uh, issues. There's also the alternative plan for biofuels and hydrogen uh, promoted in aviation, shipping and heavy duty transport and also the, uh, also the cars. Uh, the a very important in, uh, initiative is that we uh, leave no one behind, the, which means that, I mean, there need, needs to have just trans, transition mechanism to everybody, uh, meaning that uh, uh, the, the everybody could uh, uh, have, a, have a, uh, e equal opportunities uh, for sustainable life, digital and sustainable life. And lots of uh, uh, R&D uh, uh, funding and innovations are provided um, uh, by Horizon for this sector. So this 100 billion euro uh, budget for, uh, for until 20 to 27 is mostly about digital and, and, and missions, which are the moonshots. Uh, 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 moonshots and focus the I mean environmental objectives, but also the other uh, 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 mission kind of the objectives. There is now five missions uh, in in Europe uh, uh, framed. Uh, there is uh, climate adaptive cities. Uh, there is smart cities, uh, oceans, uh, cancer, and 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 soils. So. These all are somehow related uh, to, to sustainable green digital life. And of course, uh, then there's a, 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 the, the, a target for this uh, diplomacy to support the Green Deal. So the Green Deal is the important factor uh, in our life in, in, in digital environment. And industries, the key for the industries is to, um, uh, to support these EU objectives in EU. And of course, uh, uh, in, in this industry, uh, industry sector, uh, the, the issue is uh, that uh, we need to build trust, we need to work together and, 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 and create the 5G, uh, 5G digital solutions across various industries. And one of the key industries is this green sector, which goes for everywhere. We can take a closer look, but I don't think so that we have today time uh, 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 yet uh, this one, but, but let's continue. And, 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 and services for smart cities. And there are lots of uh, services uh, available uh, uh, for smart, smart cities. And, and here are the couple of uh, areas to mention, transport and mobility, smart um, uh, uh, emergency, um, and, and culture, public maintenance, and city monitoring. And here, actually, I want to take uh, one uh, initiative. When we talk about, I mean, uh, the services, when we are talking about this data and, 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 and 5G, the very important factor is the artificial intelligence. And I want to actually to uh, launch uh, one uh, 
report done by the European uh, Commission, uh, Vladimir Suha and Jean-Philip Gammel um, uh, about artificial intelligence. And this is actually talking, talking about humans and societies in the age of artificial intelligence. And it's not actually technological. There is lots of uh, white papers done uh, about uh, um, artificial intelligence, but this document is looking um, uh, more like uh, other dimensions. And you can get actually this, uh, uh, this uh, document uh, from the chat uh, in, uh, in this le lecture. Uh, there are ten uh, issues, ten main, ten main takeovers in this um, report. The first one is, in the age of artificial intelligence, we all have different meanings about artificial intelligence. And, and, and that's extremely important. There is not such a one definition for artificial intelligence, and that causes a certain problems. There is also uh, the issue that we must not underestimate the cultural dimensions of artificial intelligence. What do, what do I mean about the cultural dimensions? Uh, it means uh, that, uh, uh, that artificial intelligence technology as such is sometimes capturing the cultures, but sometimes it's not capturing the cultures. Machines are coming. Uh, that's for sure, uh, and machines already manage our emotions much better than we do. Uh, we are humans, so uh, emotions are the issues which is not we can manage, but actually emotions and, and sense in some times, I mean, they are not going hand by hand. Uh, the fourth takeover is that good in intentions will not prevent artificial intelligence from having extremely disruptive effects. Meaning, uh, there is, I mean, different intentions in uh, in this life, and we need to to be careful uh, uh, how actually the life uh, will be governed. We talk a lot about the privacy, but how much we continue to give our data away. We give our day, uh, data voluntarily in our social media, uh, uh, photos, pictures, everything. Uh, the takeover number six is freedom of, freedom of choice is being eroded and liberal democracy and free markets are at the risk. Number seven, we need to understand if and how the current mental health crisis is linked to the digital in transformation. Eight, creativity will no longer be a human uh, pre uh, 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 native. Uh, or humans' uh, 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 only uh, possibility. Creativity machines are also creative. They can be even artists. Uh, artificial uh, intelligent risks creating the most unequal societies than ever existed. And what then number 10 is the actually uh, the most important education is our best bet. So education should be uh, uh, developed thinking about these dif different dimensions, not only the technological dimension. So in this uh, 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 era, we need to uh, uh, be, uh, ne we need to be uh, uh, talked about different dimensions uh, in related uh, uh, to 5G, in related to data in related to connectivity. Here it is actually uh, uh, the uh, Fair Data Economy Rulebook, which was launched by the CIDRA here in Finland, but that actually that's global. And this rulebook for Fair Data Economy is talking about that there's different questions that we need to think about in data, similar than in artificial intelligence business questions, technological e questions, and data questions. And of course, these questions about a fair data economy are different in Europe, different in U USA, and different in, in Asia. So we need to take uh, different dimensions uh, uh, in, uh, into account in our analysis um, of, of, of the issues. And if we are talking about the data businesses, uh, we have uh, 
data users, data suppliers, and 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 then uh, uh, then uh, uh, data facilitators. Data users are using only the data, but uh, 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 and they are companies. I mean, we are, we are talking as well the companies as well as the, as the individual. But if we are talking about companies, B two B. So the companies are engaged in answering the question, how can data be used to create value within our businesses? How data users can use the data either to inform business decisions or as an input into their products and services? So it is extremely important that we think about, I mean, the value of data. Uh, the, the similar issues uh, are also uh, the issues uh, uh, then um, if we are talking about data suppliers. Data suppliers, these are the companies that either generate data that it is intrinsic value and therefore marketable, or else serve a kind of um, a brokerage role by providing access to an aggregation of the data. So uh, data suppliers are actually supplying the data. And then facilitators, there are some companies, they can facilitate so that they focus on supporting third parties and lacking the infrastructure expertise, so I mean, they are just, to, I mean, um, being uh, uh, in the su su supply or facilitator uh, role. So there are then differences in, in, in different uh, 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 companies, customers, and customer segments and value propositions between data businesses and communication businesses. But of course, this needs to uh, uh, go well hand in hand uh, in the life of, of, of smart cities. And, but uh, in these uh, uh, data businesses and communication businesses, in many cases, there are also different, uh, uh, different parties producing the services. These two business areas are fundamentally different. Uh, the implication is, is such that how to then combine these offerings and, and, and how to then actually um, uh, offer for the customers uh, the relevant uh, kind of the services. Because in many cases, uh, you need the both. You need the connectivity and you need actually uh, the, the data. Uh, data related services. So th there is actually uh, hard to realize the synergies between these two segments. But on the other hand, both data and communication businesses are platform based, which means that a certain number of customers are needed to cover the all costs related to these operations. This indicates that the uh, geographical operation area of, the of these kind of businesses needs to be large enough to sustain the required customer base. And of course, there's also in that case uh, also the value for the customers because then, I mean, uh, uh, if the customers are requiring, then the, uh, also the services needs to be similar uh, for all uh, all uh, customers. Uh, but customers, meaning customers, companies, or, or, or citizens in many cases are not requiring this. And that, that causes the, also the problems uh, uh, that uh, problems for the citizens, I'm meaning the users, because the, the uh, solutions are different and, and even uh, different in the log logics. And of course, if thinking about those providers, uh, in the provider's role, of course, they try to do as much business as possible and therefore actually also uh, selling the tailored kind of the solutions. Uh, okay, uh, then uh, I want to actually to talk about uh, uh, then uh, uh, about uh, what kind of analysis we need to do in this smart city environment. And I actually um, promote uh, 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 this kind of pestel kind of the framework so that we look at the different dimensions. And what I mean with these different dimensions that we need to look uh, in these cases, if we actually do the business cases, political, economical, social, technology, environmental, and legal aspects. And that's meaning uh, that it's not only technological that uh, uh, then in final end uh, um, uh, determining 
what kind of businesses will be scalable in, in the globe in the future. And, and, and these, uh, these, uh, kind, uh, these aspects may be different uh, in different uh, uh, environments, different contexts, but there might be certain similarities and those similarities then actually create the global business opportunities. Here, uh, it is actually more detailed about these factors, uh, political factors, what's mean about the political factors. It, this means about uh, uh, government, uh, uh, government uh, governmental I um, kind of uh, factors like policies, trade re restrictions, tariffs, political stability and so forth. And, and, and also the uh, different kind of the infrastructure which is politically decided in the, in the cities. Environmental factors, uh, whether climate, climate change, we did discuss this one more. Economical factors, what kind of economic growth and financial support actually this uh, can create. And then social factors that what kind of cultures, health concerns, societal environmental uh, concerns and, and, and also the emphasis on, on safety the issues have for the, for the environment. So uh, I want to actually to uh, uh, soon close my uh, lecture uh, thinking about uh, thinking about uh, the city's environment and, and the Europe. Um, it's extremely important to take the climate uh, into account uh, and, and also the new EU legislation. In addition of this climate and green deal, there's also the new legislation done um, uh, in Europe about personal data protection and also uh, in the uh, GDPR uh, uh, data, which is the new er European data uh, uh, protection uh, rules. Uh, and that's important also, I mean, to know and, and take into account when uh, starting the new, new businesses. We have a certain, certain uh, uh, regulation on these issues. Um, a network and, and, and competition and, and also the public procurement have certain uh, issues. Public procurement is coming more and more important, not only the legislation, but uh, uh, the, uh, if we want to be innovative and the, the requirement was that the future cities are smart, are smart and innovative, then also the public procurement needs to uh, work on that basis. That means that also the innovations are uh, bought early phases to the city environment. So thank you, thank you so much um, and, and I will be available if you have any questions. Thank you so much.